Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new style of video and I'm really curious to see as my viewers if you guys like this style of video and if it gives you motivation. So this is all of the cleaning and cooking videos from the last month compiled into one video with obviously all the great music and everything that you can clean along with me. So you can just flip it on and get the motivation you need to get your things done. Since this is the first time that I'm doing a cleaning marathon, I would love to hear your input in the comments if you enjoy this. And it's just going to roll through all of the videos as you get your things done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the weekly cook and clean with me. I'm gonna try my best to keep up with these and I have a super fun recipe I'm so excited to share with you all. Um, it is a beautiful fall day here in North Carolina. We've got the back door open. I'm just hanging out in my slippers and my sweater. I've been drinking my coffee. Since this is a cook and clean with me along with the recipe I'm gonna share with you today, I'm also going to clean out my pantry. I have it all nice and organized but with it being my pantry and grocery area, the bins get kind of crumbs and random things in them. And so I need to take the bins out and wash them all up and just kind of sweep and mop out the bottom of the pantry. So that's my goal to clean along with this cooking. Today I am making a blooming quesadilla platter. This is actually something that my husband requested. He saw it on a photo on Facebook. And in our house, we eat a lot of low carb or keto friendly things. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But this is really simple to make for anybody. You don't need to be doing keto or low carb or anything to do this. And I'm really excited about it. So for the next minute, I'm going to explain how to do it low carb. If you guys aren't low carb, you can just skip over the next minute or so and just go on with the recipe because you definitely don't need to be low carb to eat this. Okay, so most people that do keto have a certain carb amount that they like to stay under in a day's time. For myself, I eat in the second half of the day. So this will actually be like one of my main meals that I eat. So I actually grabbed these tortillas. They're carb balanced. If you're not keto, you could obviously just get regular tortillas. Um, and they are five net carbs per tortilla. So since I knew that my carbs would be a little bit more than normal for one meal for this meal, I just made sure today that I didn't eat a lot of excess carbs in the other things that I was eating. It's kind of like a give and take. And even if it would push me a little bit out of ketosis, it's not gonna push me like far out of ketosis. It's not gonna kick me out. The other thing that you would need to practice if doing this with low carb and keto is that you would just wanna make sure that you don't go over your serving size and not blow yourself out of the water. These are something I definitely would not recommend eating on a daily basis while doing keto, but as a treat and to kind of get away with having something a little special and a little extra, these work out perfect. So before I have a bunch of police on me about the fact that these aren't technically keto, there's my little explanation and let's get on with the recipe. So this is a chicken based quesadilla and I got myself a big pack of chicken over here. I'm only gonna need about half of this because you want roughly like two cups of cooked chicken. What I'm gonna do is actually put it into my pressure cooker so that it cooks up really quickly and I can shred it up. A couple other ways you could do this is you could buy canned chicken. You could also get a rotisserie chicken or just slow cook a whole chicken. Either way, you want about two cups of cooked chicken. I already went over the tortillas that you'll need, but you're going to need about 20 taco sized tortillas to make the entire blooming part of the tortilla. Next, you need a lot of cheese. And I mean a lot of cheese. <laughs> These are definitely not dairy free, but I have a block of Monterey Jack, a block of Colby Jack, and a block of extra sharp cheddar. You're gonna shred them all up. In total, you want about six cups of cheese. You could do three cups of two different kinds. I just decided to do two cups of three different kinds. You also need an onion. Doesn't really matter what kind. I love purple onions. So I have a purple onion and then you'll also need one bell pepper. Again, doesn't really matter what color, just whatever's your favorite. This is an extra thing. You don't need it, but I'm definitely going to be using it because we like it. And that is fresh cilantro to garnish the top. All right. So I'm actually going to be whipping up my own taco sauce because that's what goes into this because a lot of bought taco sauce have sugar added to them and I obviously don't want sugar in my sauce just to make it a little more healthy so I have a can of diced tomatoes it is 14 ounces 14 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and then the four 
spices that you're going to need is garlic and onion powder, chili powder, cumin, and then you'll need some salt, and you'll also need a splash of vinegar to make the taco sauce. And then at the end, you might want sour cream, guacamole, and salsa to dip your quesadillas into. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the chicken and stick it in the pressure cooker so we can get it shredded up to get everything rolling. Before I put the chicken into the pressure cooker, I just chopped it up into big chunks. That way it was already kind of half shredded for me, and it would be super simple to just break apart and shred up. Then I cut up the pepper and the onion into um, diced size, I guess, and added that to the chicken as well. I also added a cup of water to my pressure cooker and then I put it on the poultry setting. To make up the taco sauce, I just put the can of diced tomatoes into the blender, a splash of vinegar, a teaspoon of cumin, chili powder, onion powder, and garlic powder each. You could add a little more of each of these if you prefer. Once I had it all blended up, I just put it in a jar and set it aside until my chicken was finished. Once you have all of your cheese shredded, if you're shredding it yourself, you'll wanna set that aside for when you assemble everything. You wanna preheat your oven for 375 and then get your area ready to assemble your platter. I put a small glass bowl in the middle of mine just to kind of help gauge where I was putting everything as I rolled it all up. Once it bakes up for about 30 minutes, you will have a perfect fajita platter. These were so extremely good. My girls even loved them and they would be great for parties and events. I actually ended up waiting till a different day to tackle the pantry. First of all, I emptied it all out, took everything out of all of the bins and then wiped down the bottom of the pantry. I then scrubbed out each of the bins with a scrub brush and dish soap and man did they need it through the move and everything. They just didn't get cleaned very well and just needed to be cleaned really good. Then I went through everything and put the stuff back that I wanted to put back into the pantry. It also gave me kind of an opportunity to throw out old stuff and that kind of thing. I do need to keep a habit of doing this more often. Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you make this recipe, I would love to know if you like my take on it. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I needed to kind of speed through the house and do a quick clean. It maybe was about an hour or so worth of cleaning and I just needed to do it as fast as I could because I had a lot of other things on my agenda for this day. So I went ahead and made my bed. It's always a great starting point and now that I have this room partially decorated, it's just nice to have it cleaned up every day. And I wanted to let you guys know that Robo Rock actually sent me this vacuum cleaner to review for you guys. So I'm excited to let you know how it works and what I think about it. So it is obviously a robot vacuum cleaner and I have been thoroughly impressed with this. Whenever you turn it on, the first thing that it will do is map out the area that it's going to vacuum. And it has so many sensors where it avoids things that shouldn't be vacuumed up. You can use it with Alexa and you can also use it with an app on your phone. That's a feature I absolutely love because I can see the mapped out parts of my home and select where I want it to clean. I can also tell it where I don't want it to clean. So if there's certain areas that there's things on the floor that would be harmed, I can tell it to avoid those. Something else that's really cool is it it has an effective way of vacuuming. So it's going to sense the fastest way to vacuum a room. Instead of going in one direction, it may go in multiple directions just to get it done as quickly as it can. And I'm so impressed by this. Usually by the time I'm done cleaning in a room, it's ready to move on to the next room as well. It's super simple to empty out and it also has a little tool that you can clean out the roller brush underneath. This thing gets every little speck out of the car carpet. A feature I have yet to use is it has a snap-on mop unit. It has both reusable and disposable mop pads for your convenience. This vacuum is loaded with 14 different types of sensors, so you don't have to worry about anything getting damaged. It has two and a half hours worth of power and it will go right back to its dock to charge itself. So check out the description box to get $50 off of yours. They come in black and white and you also will receive some free parts. After I was done with our room I went into my daughter's room and obviously made the bed and picked up lots of odds and ends it's just like I said I needed to buzz through the house and do a quick pickup and making the beds always helps me feel like the house is so much cleaner I finally stopped running now with you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me. Laundry was my next task, and I had about four loads, I think. I don't know how I got so behind. We had a busy last couple days, and I got preoccupied with other projects, so laundry got put on the back burner. Generally, I like to do about one load a day, but like I said, got really behind, so I decided to tackle it all and get it all caught up. Okay, so this was later on in the same day and it was after my girls had went to bed. I just decided to wait till then to do the main part of the cleaning. And if you see some other movement, it's just because my husband was walking through the house as I was cleaning as well. One more night, one more night. Say it's gonna be okay. 
We had been doing so many different things this day. There was paint, there was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches being made, and <laughs> supper that had been made. So I had dishes and stuff from all throughout the evening. And I went ahead and lit my candle. I love lighting a candle while I'm cleaning or even making that as kind of like my reward when I'm done cleaning. It just makes it feel so much more cozy and I don't know, I love just a good smell going on in the house while I'm cleaning. As well as doing great on carpets, this vacuum does awesome on hard surfaces as well. And if you see something moving on the couch over there, it's just my husband watching some TV. So I don't want you guys to think that there's something in my house. <laughs> Anyways guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit of speed cleaning motivation. I just know that sometimes you gotta take that extra hour or so out of your day and just clean things up. So I hope that this gave you that motivation. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of DIYs. I do a lot of mamahood. I have three little ones and I would love if you joined my crew and I will see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some serious motivation for you. I've got a lot to clean up as you can see and it was just one of those days that everything went crazy and my girls were busy. <laughs> I just needed to get everything kind of picked up and cleaned up. I started off in the laundry room and just got all of the clothes that had come out of the dryer from somebody digging for something. <laughs> you know how it is when laundry is backed up. Everybody's always looking for whatever they need and laundry baskets get dug through. And to be honest, I my goal for this day was to completely get all of the laundry done. But as you'll see, I actually ended up splitting this into two days and getting some of it done this day and then tackling the laundry the next day. I know I've been getting a few comments here and there about the fact that I shouldn't put up Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving, but to be honest, it brings us so much joy and we just love having Christmas decor up and why not enjoy it for two months instead of one month, especially whenever you put so much work into putting all the decorations up. Thank you. 
One of my absolute favorite things about this time of year is in the evenings when all the lights are off and we just have the glow of the Christmas lights. And with the ones I have above my cabinets, they really light up the kitchen well without any overhead lights on. So it just makes our home so cozy and I love the atmosphere it brings. The two days prior to this were crazy. We were in and out of the house. There was just so much going on and I was doing cooking in between and I just did not get all of the dishes tackled. And to be honest with you, there are days like this day that I actually run my dishwasher twice. I just have so much to accomplish in a day like this and sanding and washing dishes that don't fit in the dishwasher just are not a priority to me. Sometimes I end up making my bed in the second half of the day, which I don't even mind because to me, the true satisfaction is whenever I go to bed at night and it's made. So even if it's not made first thing in the morning, I will still try to make it in the afternoon. All right, so this is actually the next day and I, oh my goodness, when it comes to my daughter's rooms, um, this one is my youngest daughter's room and it's also where all the toys are in her closet. And we do this maybe about once a week. I wanna get better at making it a little bit more limited on what they're allowed to take out of the toy closet and then putting things back whenever they wanna get something else out. But um, yeah, so we needed to do this as you can see and the girls have been really great at helping to organize and clean up their toys and put things where they go. go up to our bonus room it has nothing in it right now we just use it for guests 
um, and put like an air mattress or whatever up there. But the girls do go up there and run around sometimes, so I try to vacuum the steps off like every two weeks or so. After the girls were in bed, I made myself a cup of decaf coffee and I wanted to catch up on some YouTubers. So I sat in the living room and tackled my mountain of laundry. I think there was like about four loads or something like that. And my method and how I do this is we hang up all of our tops and then um, our pants or the girls pants get folded and then our pants get folded right now, but we actually have space in our walk-in closet to hang them all. And eventually I'm going to, I just haven't gotten the hangers to do that. So right now we've been folding ours and um, I do want to do a closet cleanup of Corey and I's closet really soon. So you guys can be on the lookout for that video. tell you everything I've seen the friends I've made and then you tell me how you've been look a little closer it's been quite some time but you gotta let me know if I'm out of line but there's some words that I just want to so I'm pretty much done folding the laundry and I'm getting ready to put it away. But I wanted to give you guys a little update on the capsule wardrobing with the girls that I did a few weeks ago. Um, I know I had told you that I would let you know, you know, my thoughts on it and when I like took the plunge and just did it and got rid of a lot of stuff and really minimized the things that they wear. And to be honest, this is my full on honest opinion about it. I actually think we still have too much. <laughs> it might sound crazy, but I really do like even having basically like a little more than a week's worth of clothes. There is still stuff that I don't think we really need around, but we'll work on it. I'm sure I'll tweak it as I go. And I'm actually getting ready to tackle my own closet. So that'll be coming really soon. Um, I'm really going to minimize a lot of the things that I have in my closet. Um, and just kind of like work with the stuff that I really love. And yeah, I'll tell you more about it then. But I know a lot of times I don't do this kind of like sit and chat with you guys or really talk with you in my cleaning videos. So I wanted to take advantage of this moment and just tell those of you that only watch my cleaning videos, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming back and re-watching cleaning videos and just getting inspired and motivated off my videos. It means so much to me and I just wanted to take advantage of this time and tell you guys that. So I'm going to end this video here. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like and I will see you all in my next video hey guys welcome back to my channel so excuse my voice if it sounds a little bit off I'm fighting a cold today but I'm so excited to finally be able to put this video together um, and I'm sure you guys are too you guys always love whenever you see my holiday decor and this is my second year of really digging into this and doing it and it's so much fun so I wanted to kind of explain everything and how I went about doing all of this, but I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to give you some inspiration for possibly Christmas morning and some fun ideas of a food idea you could do. Also, I may do another decorating video. Um, this was all of the stuff I had from last year that I put out. So I may purchase a few more decorations and add them in. So if I have enough, then I may make another decoration grading video to come and I also would like to do a Christmas home tour if you guys would be interested and excited about seeing that let me know in the comments below
To start off, you'll want to decide what you want to put all of your items for your waffle bar in. You could do disposable platters or plates just to make things easy. I decided to use this dish set that my mom gave me. I just thought it was perfect for all the little toppings and then to line up the waffles in. Something else that I added was cinnamon and cocoa powder. Besides sprinkles and chocolate chips, I also wanted to crush up some candy canes to do a little bit of a peppermint twist. Another fun topping is whipped cream and it comes in a lot of different flavors. I just did regular and then some chocolate and then I added in some fresh fruit. A different option would be to do a pie filling like a cherry pie filling or a blueberry pie filling to top the waffles with. That would be super delicious as well. I like to use a butter flavored spray to spray the inside of the waffle maker. It adds a great flavor and I just used a mix from the store. You could obviously make them from scratch. Another thing that I love about waffle makers is they're really great for keto friendly options as well. You can even buy keto waffle mix and pancake syrup and be included with everyone else if you're trying to stick to a low carb diet. I had a total blast putting this together and there's a huge chance that we will actually do this Christmas morning. It's so delicious and you can do so many different toppings and things with this that everyone can be happy. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close for 
forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories We had so much fun setting the tree up as a family. This is our first year doing a fake tree, but we loved it. I love the fact that it's flocked and it goes so well with my wintry theme. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. I really love having decorations around that I can leave up well into January because they're more wintry than they are extremely Christmas. So that's why I lean more towards a neutral palette and it's something that can be enjoyed longer than just one holiday. And to see you again, baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better loosen your belts. Drinking up wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. And some kind of love, my friend. Pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and Outside snow Don't forget to hit the link in the description box to get your waffle maker for this holiday season or possibly just to gift it to someone else. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sitting here in my bedroom because I am about to tackle a closet clean out. And to be quite honest, I've been kind of avoiding doing this because who wants to clean out their closet, right? And who knows what's in there. But I do do this about every six months and it's high time I do it again. I will show you guys why in a little bit here. But a huge tool that I love to use whenever cleaning out my closet is Poshmark. And Poshmark is actually sponsoring this video. We recently moved and whenever we lived at our other house, I had used Poshmark a little bit and then I got rid of my account and just went through the move and everything like that and now I'm ready to pick it back up again. It's such a simple way to sell your clothes, your kids clothes, your husband's clothes, and to make a few extra dollars and to get it out of your house. Aside from selling things on Poshmark, you can also buy things on Poshmark and they have so, so many brands. 
thousands of brands. I love looking for American Eagle items on there. They have like Pink by Victoria's Secret. Just so many brands. You can click the link in the description box and get up to 70% off retail value of thousands of items. Another thing that's really fun about Poshmark is you can actually follow other people's closets. So if you're already on Poshmark, I would love it if you left your handle in the description box and I can go ahead and follow you too. So obviously you guys can go check out my Poshmark closet. So everything that I'll be decluttering today, I'll be putting on there and I'm also going to probably be adding a few things from my daughter's closet as well. All right, so now that you know where all the clothes are going that I'm gonna be pulling out, let's go and check out the closet. I haven't done anything to it, and it could be a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> Our closet is definitely my hiding space, my space that I throw things into that should not be in there. And yeah, I just, I don't know. It's my only spot that I tend to let go pretty quickly. And this is where we're at with it right now. So one of the other things that I really needed to do was I had stole some of the little clips that hold this shelving together to use to build some more shelving in my pantry in the kitchen. And then I never put it back together and I actually recently got some more of the clips that I needed to stick it all back into functioning order. So you'll see me do that here on my husband's side. Um, it just needed to be rebuilt so that it wasn't flimsy and falling apart and so we could use it properly. This type of shelving and bins are something that's super inexpensive to organize a closet with and it fits most folded clothes pretty much perfectly. Next, I wanted to hang up our bags and later on I actually added hooks on the other side of the door for my husband's backpack as well. We just needed a place to be able to get them off the floor and to easily hang them up. So I have two diaper bags as you can see and I just make the one that's lower the one that I'm currently using. On this shelf, I actually had a couple Christmas presents that I was hiding in that bag and then I moved these drawers up because Hazley keeps getting into them and they have my nail polish in them and I just wanted to get them out of her reach until she's a little bit older and doesn't want to dig around in mama's closet. Okay, the story behind this huge pile of jeans, somebody actually gave these to my husband, he, and he is a contractor, and they do fit him, and so whenever he has a pair that rips, or he just needs a different pair of work pants, or, you know, he dumps paint on them, or something that, you know, makes them unusable, then he just throws them away and then grabs from this huge pile. Whenever it comes to, you know, something that's been given to you, and it's something you can use, um, I definitely do 
store those things and so that's why there was a huge pile of jeans in there. Also, I did want to mention that I am getting a bunch of pant hangers for all of these bottoms that I'm folding on both sides. Right above them is a bar that can be hung up. I just didn't have them in preparation for doing this video, so that'll be a project here soon is to hang all of the pants up in our closet. Then I went through all of our tops and I actually reordered them. I had had them where the long sleeve stuff was towards the outside of the closet and then the short sleeve was towards the inside and since we're reaching more for long sleeve now, I actually like flipped it completely around for both my husband and I so that the long sleeve stuff is easier to get to. And as I went, I also pulled out stuff that I didn't want or don't use or I don't like how it fits. In this frame is a piece of our unity canvas from our wedding and I just kind of keep it here in our closet and I just wiped down the top of the shelf. Alright, here is the finished product. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because my girls are sleeping, <laughs> but um, I, yeah, I need to get the hangers for in here for so I can hang all of this stuff up, but I'm really happy with how this is working. It's just, and we needed it to be rearranged a little bit. And these drawers, my youngest daughter kept getting into and so I needed to move them up and we needed more shoe storage anyways so this worked out great I'm so happy with all of this and yeah I think it's gonna be so much more functional for us and so much more clean here is my big pile to go on Poshmark I'm really proud of myself I feel like I weeded out a lot of stuff and things that I don't think I'll actually need sorry that was my phone um, so yeah, I'm going to be listing all of this on my Poshmark site. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the link in the description box to download the Poshmark app and I will see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I've never done or I've never done this style of video before, but I'm really excited about it because I feel like so often in my vlogs, I share my to-do list to share with you guys the things that I'm trying to accomplish in the day, and today I've got a lot on my to-do list to do. One of those things will be doing some cooking and hanging out here in the kitchen, and that kind of brings me in to showing you guys today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Gove and I've actually worked with them before. We have their hanging lights in our patio out back and we love the options that they bring. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a strip of these strip lights that I put up 
underneath of my cabinets. They're crazy easy to install. There's like no tools needed. It's so simple. Anyone could do it. I literally just put these up and I'm gonna put some up on the other side of the kitchen, but I'm gonna go ahead. I haven't wound all this cord up and um, made it a little more discreet just because I'm gonna show you guys. And this here can stick onto something. This is the remote control. I'm gonna show you another way you can use them here in a second but um, they are like literally the coolest thing ever. Okay, so I pulled up the app and I just made this one named Kitchen One. So I can select that and it will give me all of these options. There's literally probably hundreds of color options. I mean, here I can make them green, I can make them orange. They're so cool and like I said, crazy easy to install. Something else that's a really fun feature that my daughters actually really love is this music feature. If you hit that, they will actually flash and go to the rhythm of the music that you're listening to. So dance parties in the kitchen have already happened and some more will definitely be happening. As a video creator, this little bar down here is so convenient because you can make it a brighter light or like a cooler light or a warmer light. So depending on the atmosphere or the situation, it's really easy to adjust them. Everything comes packaged really, really nicely. This is the other strip of lights I'm gonna put on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. They also do send clips that you can secure them with, but these are definitely not needed. And they also send this little like alcohol wipe that you can wipe up the area that you're going to apply the lights to. Here is what the lights look like. They have kind of like a jelly feel to them. And then they've got a sticky stuff on the back and it's super easy to peel off and just stick it to whatever surface you want to use. And then here's my little wipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this underneath of these cabinets. Gove LED strip lights are also Alexa enabled. If you guys wanna check out the links in the description box, they are having some awesome Black Friday sales that are already going on and you can pick up your own set of these lights for whatever area of your home you wanna use them in. The first thing on my to-do list is to wash everybody's sheets today. So I'm gonna go and get all of them off of the beds, but before I do that, I'm actually going to um, put some chicken into a marinade because it does need to sit in the marinade for a little while before I cook it, and it will probably be the last thing I cook today. We are actually starting to do a little bit of meal prepping. I used to do this all the time, and our lives are just really busy, and we, right now, in the stage of life we're in, could really use some meal prepping and just meals that are made and we can pull them out and heat them up um, and that they're healthy and we're not tempted to grab something unhealthy. So that's part of my goal today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting the chicken into the marinade and then I'm gonna get the sheets in the washer. Okay, I went on Pinterest and I got a couple different recipes. So I think today I'm gonna be making three different meals and these are for Corey and I because um, I'm counting macros, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like your nutrition um, intake. And so I'm doing them for Corey and I, so it'll be six, or I'm sorry, it'll be, yeah, it'll be six containers, three different meals for um, him and I. So the first one that I'm gonna be putting together is a Italian chicken skewers. And it's really interesting, it actually uses buttermilk in the marinade, which I've never done anything like that before. So I'm gonna cut the chicken up, and obviously to the size you'd put onto skewers, and then I'm going to put it into the marinade, and then that'll be like probably the last thing I make today. I will be sure to leave all of the recipes linked below in the description box. Like I said, most of this stuff I found off of Pinterest, and there was a lot of really good ones. And honestly, as I test tasted all the stuff I made today, I was so happy with everything. Everything tasted so good and had such a great variety of flavors. Once I had the Italian 
chicken um, skewers chicken ready I went into our room and started stripping down our bed I decided to also wash our duvet cover I don't do this very often but it was really in need of being cleaned Next, I separated all of the bedding into individual loads. So there was like three or four of them. And you'll see throughout the day, I try to keep everything rolling through the washer and dryer in between cooking and doing my other things. I try to keep hard boiled eggs on hand. And this day I wanted to make some deviled eggs to go with one of my meal prep meals and just wanted some extra hard boiled eggs for in the refrigerator. So I boiled a bunch of them up. Now I'm starting in on a recipe that is something jalapeno chicken. I can't remember exactly, but like I said, I'll leave it all linked below. And this was so good. I definitely think that this is gonna be one that I will make again. And it was really simple to produce such a huge amount of flavor. I hope that this video motivates you guys to do a little bit of meal prep. I know it's something that helps our week go so much smoother and it just really helps out if if I have meals ready and if it's something that we can even heat up really quickly then supper is ready and we're not waiting around for food to be cooked. This was a side mushroom dish that I found on Pinterest. It looked so delicious and yes, it was. It just took a bunch of mushrooms and then some bacon and you did a little bit of roasting on the mushrooms before you stir fried it in with the bacon. Oh, it was so delicious. Something you're gonna notice um, on these days that I do a lot of cooking at once, I don't really wash my pan up a ton. I actually like to leave all of the seasoning and flavors in it from like whatever I was just frying. I feel like it makes the food taste so much better. It's what people used to do and still do a lot with cast iron skillets and it kind of holds on to the seasoning and the flavor of the food. And doesn't this just look so delicious? So I put some cheese on top of that jalapeno chicken and and then when we reheat it, it will just melt over the chicken. I don't have an exact recipe for my deviled eggs. I just put a little bit of mayo and a little bit of mustard and mix it all together and then put the yolks part back into the whites of the eggs. And also, I was really thrilled that I ended up getting two meals for each of us out of this stuff. I kind of overguessed on my protein and stuff, so it was perfect. And then I put some of this ranch over the skewers. I didn't actually put that chicken on skewers, even though that's what it was meant for, just because it fit into the containers a little better just to fry up the chunks of chicken.
So right before I started this meal, I did actually clean up some stuff and reload my dishwasher just so I wasn't so overwhelmed till I was finished. So I could kind of start off with a little bit more of a clean slate. And I started making some cauliflower fried rice to go along with some cashew chicken that you'll see me make here in a second. This is so good and we actually like this like on a regular basis to order in takeout food. So it was fun to kind of recreate a favorite. At this point, of course, my sheets and everything were ready for our bed, so I went ahead and started making our bed and then got interrupted <laughs> right here in a second because I realized that my chicken was almost done and I needed to add the last few ingredients before it was finished. I washed up some strawberries and I actually got jumbo muffin size, I believe that's the size I got, um, silicone liners, like muffin silicone liners. And these work perfect because we can take the strawberries out and reheat the hot food part, but keep that part separate. Okay, I kind of feel a little out of breath after wrangling or wrestling with the duvet cover. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in my closet and show you guys something. I can't finish the girls' beds until they wake up from their naps. They're just sleeping on their beds without their bedding while it's being washed um, and with other blankets and stuff. So since they're taking naps, I'm going to stay out of that end of the house and I'm going to show you what was on my to-do list to do in my closet today. While I was um, cooking, these actually came. They're from Amazon, of course. You guys know I get like everything from Amazon. And um, they're like really, really heavy. There's 50 hangers in here. If you guys have watched my vlogs before, you know that this has been something on my to-do list for a while to get done. So right now, all of our tops are up there. And then like Corey's hats, he wears a lot of like baseball style hats. And so they're all up here. This is like stuff we don't use very often or that's pretty much out of the way. And then I do have a couple pant hangers, but crazy enough, these cost a lot more than those but I feel like those are more heavy duty so I don't know anyways so I recently had um, organized this I don't know if you guys caught that video um, but I did not have the stuff to hang up all of our bottoms on either side so let me take a step back here a second so this is like a bar that you can hang just like up there oh I don't know why that random hangers there 
So I'm going to hang all of our stuff up that's folded down here so we can easily see our um, pants and shorts and leggings and stuff. And then up there is like Christmas presents I'm hiding and that stuff I don't want my girls to get into that I stuck up there. And then on this side is where I hang um, my diaper bags and then Corey hangs his backpack over there but he's using it right now. So um yeah i really love how organized everything is right now and i'm so excited to see it with the bottoms all hung up you better turn up you better be there when i shake watch me rocking if i can't stop if i should fall just go ahead go and catch me baby So there is some stuff in the laundry that I need to get out, but we will still have extra hangers, which makes me really happy. And I'm just so glad that stuff is finally off the um, bottom and just hanging up so that we can easily go through it and we're not digging through piles. And the girls are still napping, so while they're still sleeping, I am actually gonna clean up the kitchen. Gove has so many different products. Another product that we use in our home is their hydrometer thermometer. It's for indoors and outdoors and it's wireless. The temperature humidity sensor records two years of data and uploads it to your phone through Wi-Fi every minute. It's just one more way to monitor your home through smart technology. Gove also provides water leak detectors. To be honest, whenever they told me about these, I was totally mind blown. This is the coolest invention. So basically, it will set an alarm off if it comes in contact with water. So you could put these in your laundry room, in your bathrooms, your kitchen. I think another really great place would be is under your water heater. So anywhere that there could possibly be potentially be a leak that you would want to know about before damage happens, that is where you would want to put this little device. Again, don't forget to check everything out that I've mentioned in this video in the description box. Thank you so much for tackling my to-do list with me today. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this video and the question of the day is inspired by my containers that I put my food in. What is your favorite takeout food? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like for me and i'll see you guys in my next video hey guys and welcome back to my channel so if you hear a little bit of an echo it's because i'm standing in my master bathroom right now and this is one area of our house that i have kind of let go or not really done anything with since we moved into this house which was not very long ago which you guys know if you've been around for a while and so i have been really itching to tackle organizing underneath of our sink in our master bathroom it just needs some better solutions for what we're storing under there and um, I have not decorated our bathroom at all yet so that's in the works and that'll be something I'm sure I'll show you in a vlog sometime soon but for the moment tackling the cupboards underneath of the sink was most important everything that I got to do this project is from the Dollar Tree also whenever I am done organizing these cupboards I'm actually going to show you underneath of my kitchen sink because that was already done and then underneath of my my daughter's bathroom which is kind of like our guest bathroom it's the bathroom that everybody else uses and we store a few things under those sinks as well so I thought 
why not give you some inspiration to organize underneath of your sinks or vanities um, no matter where they're at if they're in your kitchen or your bathroom I feel like they're kind of challenging and awkward spaces to organize so I hope this inspires you let me know in the comments if you decide to do this as well or if you've recently done this and found some really cool tips or tricks of how to organize around the piping and things underneath of your sink this is going to be kind of an evening project I'm losing daylight so if you see the lighting change throughout this video that's why before we get started and before I show you the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree to do this I'm gonna just show you kind of how this all got thrown together right after we moved in so up here we don't really have a whole lot other than um, this is like the uh, kind of a medicine cabinet but we just keep a lot of odds and ends in there that long thing I actually keep my makeup in um, and yeah so that's pretty much organized I don't really need to do anything in there and then this little thing was something I put in here I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in here or whatnot I thought it would be cute with like plants sitting on it or something like that especially for spring so I think for the moment it's gonna stay there so underneath of here I had put a few bins and this is the main problem at the moment um, these all have lids and I just need stuff that's like open and that can store like bottles and dry shampoo you know things that um, are kind of need to be standing up I'll show you the solution or at least what I think is gonna work um, of something I found at Dollar Tree for that kind of stuff and then this is a little shelf thingy I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here or not it'll depend on how the bins all fit that I got from Dollar Tree and then there's no contact paper in here at all so I'm gonna be putting some contact paper in as well and then so in here is basically like some personal care things um, down in here is all of my like curling irons and straighteners and stuff like that and in here I'm not even sure what's in those right now and then in this one um, we actually keep our towels in here and everything's in the laundry right now and then also here we keep like you know washcloths there's extra cotton balls that's the little thing I use to rinse the girls hair out whenever I give them baths because um, they take baths in here and then just like extra um, q-tips that kind of thing so again I feel like this is kind of an awkward shape and just doesn't make the most of this space and again it needs contact paper so let me show you what I got to put in here here is everything I picked up all of this like I said is from Dollar Tree so this is the contact paper I got I thought it was really pretty um, just a clean look and then I grabbed two of these I grabbed four of these I got six of these and these are actually like I think to store they have cotton balls in the picture but just to store you know smaller things and then this is my random kind of idea to do a lot of like bottles or round type stuff is I'm thinking I'm gonna use these um, I think they'll work great I'm hoping I can get three of them in towards the back of the um, cabinet so we'll try it out first of all I'm gonna take everything out and then put the contact paper in and then we'll see how I can figure all of this out I did keep the receipt in case I had extras and just didn't need stuff or I may end up keeping it and using it somewhere else in the house
The other side of the sink was a little bit more self-explanatory, but I thought I would kind of explain this side a little bit better. So these round bins are actually from the food section, but I thought they would work well just because a lot of sprays and hair products and things are in a round container. So I just thought it would work good to store them. That one back there is empty, but I just wanted some extra space and something that was easy to take in and out. Like a lot of the containers that were in here had lids which of course made it more difficult to just grab and go and then over here I have these clear containers I thought they were really neat they're stackable the three that are behind them are actually empty at the moment but um, I do feel like I could store extra makeup in them and be able to easily see what's in them I only ended up using one of these and I actually had an extra one of those as well but they're actually really handy and I want to pick up a few more they're really great for all kinds of things like crayons and anything like that but I just have some of my tanning stuff and then like some brushes and um, yeah just a super convenient caddy with their little compartments and then down here I just have all of my hot tools and um, yeah I think it's a little bit better than having something with a lid I can easily wind up the cords and just put everything back in there so I'm really happy with how this looks and I want to go ahead and show you guys some of my other cabinets underneath of my sinks. All right, this is in our guest bathroom slash my daughter's bathroom. So we have the trash can underneath of the sink and also a little caddy there. I put toilet paper in, I just didn't refill it and wipes. And then I also have that wooden caddy. That's something that my grandfather made and I rotate it through my house and use it for different things. But right now it's holding the girl's hair supplies and toothbrushes. Under the kitchen sink is definitely a very highly used area for sure. So to save on some drawer space in my kitchen, I actually put my towels and dishcloths down here. And I also put, of course, the normal things, extra soap, a bottle brush, um, the sink stoppers, and then different sprays that I'm currently using. I keep a majority of those things in my laundry room, but just the ones that I can easily grab, I keep under the sink as well as my dishwasher soap and extra sponges. I hope this gave you guys a ton of inspiration. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Which under sink area in your house needs cleaned up the most? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video.